separation system. Simple but very important concept for CISA exam. CRM covers following type of fire suppression system. Water based, dry pipe, halon, FM200, Regonite and CO2. Difference between water based and dry pipe. In water based, water always remains in the system piping. Whereas in dry pipe, they do not have water in the pipes until an electronic fire alarm activates the water pump to send water into the system. Water based is more effective and reliable. So dry pipe comparatively less effective and reliable. Disadvantage of water based is exposing the facility to water damage if pipe leaks or breaks. Same thing is the advantage of dry pipe. So, in dry pipe, advantage is of not exposing the facility to water damage even if pipe leaks or breaks. Few attempts, Isaka wants us to understand which gas is safe and which one is dangerous for human life. Please note, Argonite and FM200, they are the safe, but Argonite though environment friendly and non-toxic, people have suffocated by breathing it by mistake. Whereas, Halon and Carbon Dioxide, they are not safe for human life. So this is how I remember what is safe and what not. So safe A stands for Argonite and F for FM200. But please remember Argonite though environment friendly and non-toxic people have suffocated by breathing Argon by mistake. So when in question both the options are there FM200 and Argonite our answer should be FM200. Understand what is Halon? They remove oxygen from air thus starving the fire. They are not safe for human life. There should be audible alarm and brief delay before discharge to permit time for evacuation. Halon gas is banned as it adversely affects the ozone layer. So popular replacement for halon are FM200 and Argo 9. Colorless and odorless, safe to be used when people are present, environment friendly, commonly used as gaseous fire separation agent. Mixture of 50% argon and 50% nitrogen. Though environment friendly and non-toxic, people have suffocated by breathing argon by mistake. Carbon dioxide. They replace oxygen from the air. So they are not safe for human life. 
In most countries, it is illegal for such system to be set to automatic relays if any human life is present in that particular area. It can be installed when no humans are regularly present such as unmanned data centers. The expected questions in CISA exam which gas is not safe for human consumption, which one is safe and which causes risk of damage to the equipment. So, our answer should be this is our questions. An IS auditor is reviewing fire safety arrangement in data center. Which of the following is the most effective and environmentally friendly? Dry pipe. So these are the reasons why other options are not valid. Operator is reviewing fire safety arrangement in data center where dry pipe sprinkles are installed. A dry pipe fire extinguisher uses water but it enters the pipe only when fire has been detected. An IS auditor is reviewing fire safety arrangement in data center with wet pipe. So, what are the contents of wet pipe? Water resides in the pipe. Which of the following is the highest risk with respect to use of CO2 and halon gas as fire extinguishers? Both present a risk to human life if used in closed room. is reviewing fire safety arrangement in data center which of the following is the area of most concern use of co2 they are not safe for human life others are safe for human lives Which of the following gas is safest to be used in presence of human life? FM200 For more such video, please visit cisaexamstudy.com. Thanks.